This is a ham radio, a Boofwang UV5R ham radio to be exact. And this is the most popular radio ever invented. And if you are one of the millions of people that own a Boofwang UV5R radio, you have no doubt experienced some people telling you that it is illegal to use this radio on GMRS or FRS frequencies. Illegal even if you have a ham radio license and illegal even if you have a GMRS license to use on GMRS or FRS channels. This is a GMRS radio, a TID Radio GM5R to be exact. And as you can see, it looks very much like the Bufhuang UV5R. They both have removable antennas, they both have a bunch of buttons, and they both look pretty much the same. Yet, according to the FCC's we are permitted to transmit on GMRS or FRS channels or frequencies with this radio, but if we turn on this radio, the Bufwang UV5R, and put in a GMRS frequency like this, four, six, two, five, seven, five, and if we do this, Breaker, breaker, testing, one, two, three. Can anybody hear me? I would be violating the FCC's rules if I were to do that. So in this video, I will endeavor to explain to you why you are not permitted by the FCC's to transmit on GMRS frequencies using this radio. And I will explain what will happen if you dare do such a thing as it appears that I just did. And unlike so many of those other YouTube channels, I will explain this all to you using plain and simple English that you do not need to be a lawyer or a radio dork to understand. And as an extra added bonus, I will not desperately beg you to hit the subscribe button or the like button like so many other YouTubers do. But before I get started with any of that, please allow me to make this content warning. Some people are not going to like much of the information presented in this video, and there will no doubt be much wailing and gnashing of teeth. So be sure to read through the comments because it is going to be very entertaining. The short answer that I usually give people when they ask why they can't use a UV5R to transmit on GMRS frequencies, the short answer I usually give is because the FCC said so. However, the longer and more elusive answer as to why you cannot use a UV5R to transmit on GMRS frequencies is because, according to the FCC's, in order to sell a radio that can transmit on GMRS frequencies in these United States of America, the radio must be certified or type accepted to transmit on GMRS frequencies. And in order for that to happen, the radio must adhere to certain specifications as published by the FCC's in the FCC Part 95 rules. And according to the FCC's, any radio that is not certified or type accepted for use on GMRS may not transmit on GMRS frequencies. You can listen, but you cannot do this. Breaker 123, hello, can anybody hear me? In the real world, this means that because the GM5R, which is type accepted as a GMRS radio, it is allowed to transmit on GMRS frequencies. The UV5R, which is not type accepted to transmit on GMRS frequencies, is not permitted by the FCCs to transmit on GMRS frequencies. So according to the FCC rules, if you have a UV5R, you should never do this. Testing one, two, three. Some of those FCC part 95 specifications say that in order to become type certified for use on GMRS frequencies, it must 
have all of the GMRS channels pre-programmed. It must be pre-programmed with specific power limits so that the radio can only transmit at certain power levels on certain frequencies. The radio must only transmit at specific bandwidths. The radio has to meet specific modulation and filtering specifications. The radio must meet specific RF emissions standards. If it is a repeater-capable GMRS radio, the radio must have the repeater channels pre-programmed with the correct repeater frequencies. And all of this stuff, by the way, this was not a complete list. This was just some of the highlights. All of this stuff, all of those rules must be baked in to the radio and must not be changeable. Now let us imagine for just a moment using your mind's eye, let's imagine that some near-do-well rab scallion were to take a Bufwang UV5R radio, put it on a GMRS frequency, and do this. Will the FCC know that this was just done on an illegal radio and not a legal radio? Regardless of what the online experts tell you, the short answer is no. Now it is true that sophisticated technology does exist that can fingerprint a specific radio after that radio has already been observed. But if you just take your Bufwang UV5R, you take it out of the box and start transmitting on GMRS frequencies, the FCC will not know if you're talking on a UV5R or a GM5R as long as you have the frequencies and bandwidths and everything set correctly. And yes, the GMRS radio might have a more pure spectrum of RF electricities squirting out of the antenna, but an unclean spectrum does not prove that you're using a UV5R and it does not prove that you're not using a GMRS certified radio. Your GMRS radio could have dirty RF emissions. It might have just come from a bad batch. It does not prove that you're using a UV5R. So what will the FCCs do if you use a Bufwang UV5R and transmit on GMRS frequencies? Now allow me to be clear. If the full brunt and force of the FCCs were to bear down upon you, they would be able to figure out if you were using a Bufwang UV5R or other non-certified radio on GMRS frequencies. And according to some people, this will without a doubt result in a $250,000 fine and 10 years in prison. So how often does that happen? How many people have the FCCs imprisoned or fined for using a Bufwang UV5R on GMRS frequencies? And what are the chances of the FCCs going after you for simply using a Bufwang UV5R on GMRS frequencies. Luckily for us, the FCCs are required by law to make that exact information publicly available. And anyone can easily search through the entire FCC's enforcement database for free right on the FCC's website. And right here in my formerly chocolate stained fingers, I have a list of every single time the FCC has taken any action against someone illegally using a Bufwang UV5R to transmit on GMRS frequencies. Going all the way back to the year 2012, every time someone was jailed, every time someone was fined for using a UV5R on GMRS frequencies. And since the year 2012, the number of actions taken for people transmitting using a UV5R on GMRS frequencies is zero. Now this shocking revelation is in direct conflict with what some people have been telling us over and over and over for a long time. And there is a very simple reason for the disparity between what some people have been telling us and what the FCC has actually done. And the reason for that disparity is because the people that have been telling you this are full of crap. So anytime some people 
tell you this lie and tell you that you'll go to jail or get a large fine by the FCC for using your Bufwang UV5R on GMRS? Ask them for a link or a reference in the public FCC database to the last time that happened. And I guarantee you that they can't because they're lying to you.